The Battle of Arafura Sea, also known as the Battle of Vlak Hook, was a naval battle in the Vlak Hook Bay of the Arafura Sea in western New Guinea on January 15, 1962 between Indonesia and the Netherlands. The battle stopped an attempt by the Indonesian Navy to land 150 soldiers in Kaimana in Dutch New Guinea for sabotage and to incite the local population against the Dutch government. Commodore Jos Sadaso was in charge of the operation at sea, while Colonel Murshid commanded the infiltrators. Three Indonesian torpedo boats left the Aru Islands in the middle of the night but were intercepted near the New Guinea coast by a Dutch Neptune reconnaissance plane as the Dutch had anticipated the action for weeks. The torpedo boats responded to the flares sent off by the plane by shooting at it. The Dutch destroyer HNLMS Evertsen then joined the scene and sank Rematjan Tutul, commanded by Sadaso. The other two ships, Rematjan Kumbang and Riharamau, fled, but one hit a reef and the other was hit by gunfire and disabled. Evertsen was able to save most of the crew of Matjan Tutul, but at least three sailors died, among whom was Commodore Sadaso. The Indonesian action itself was an abject failure, and General Nasutian even refused to relay the bad news to President Sukarno, forcing Colonel Murshid to do this in person. However, the small battle was partially responsible for the subsequent involvement of the Soviet Union and United States in the Western New Guinea dispute and it is honored in Indonesia by Oceanic Duty Day, an annual nationwide day of remembrance. Twelve years after his death, Jos Sadaso was officially added to the register of Indonesian heroes of the revolution, while Riharama was made into a monument at the Pernabakti Pertiwi Museum in Taman Mini Indonesia Indah.